Oh, isn't it lovely when it's Sunday and it's a bank holiday weekend as well. Hello and welcome to GSFM. I'm Jer Sweeney and it's nice to have your company. How are you today? I can't hear you back, but I'm assuming you're saying you're all right. You're in good form. Excellent. Delighted to hear it. Well, it's the 1st of May. Wow, the months are just slipping by, aren't they? 1st of May, what was happening down through the years on this particular day? Well, I shall tell you what was happening. Let's see now. 1889. Oh, yes. A fellow by the name of Asa Candler, C-A-N-D-L-E-R, published a full-page advertisement in the Atlanta Journal proclaiming that his wholesale and retail drug business was the sole proprietor of Coca-Cola. Delicious, refreshing, exhilarating, invigorating, so the ad said. Mr. Candler didn't actually achieve sole ownership until 1891. That was two years later, and it cost him $2,300. Wow. 1931, on this day, the 1st of May, the Empire State Building in New York was dedicated and opened. It was 102 stories tall and was the tallest building in the world at the time. In 1941, there's an iconic, isn't it? There is an iconic picture of workmen having their lunch sitting on some of the steel beams at the Empire State Building. There is, yes, absolutely. 1941, Citizen Kane, directed by and starring Orson Welles, premiered in New York. In 1948, the People's Democratic Republic of Korea, known to you and I as North Korea, was proclaimed. In 1967, Elvis Presley and Priscilla were married. They were together until 1973. In 1986, the TASS news agency reported the Chernobyl nuclear power plant accident. Remember, today is the 1st of May. It was reported on this day, and it happened on the 26th of April. In the year 2000, the Barbie for President doll was released in stores. We didn't get Barbie then. No, we got Mickey Mouse. (laughs) It was George W., wasn't it? Indeed it was. Now, for scheduling purposes, I had to record this particular episode of GSFM early on Saturday. So I only have two guesses in that came on that came in overnight. Camilla Parker Bowles and Bette Midler. We have a very strange relationship. It's neither of those ladies. Do you want to hear it again? We have a very strange relationship. So anything that came in kind of very early on on Saturday and from then on, unfortunately, isn't included in this. But we will include it tomorrow. But thank you very much. It was Bernie, I think, guest uh, Camilla Parker Bowles. And Bette Midler was guest by Tom Eustace. So thank you, folks. Glenn Ford, the actor, was born on this day in 1916. Judy Collins, otherwise known as Judith Marjorie Collins, born in 1939. Rita Coolidge celebrates her birthday, born in 1940. Five, Ray Parker Jr., who are you going to call? 1954. And Tim McGraw was born in the very same year as I was in 1967. Happy birthdays, one and all. Our useless fact for today, I told you yesterday I'd tell you about Abraham Lincoln's mother. Well, she died when she drank the milk of a cow that grazed on poisonous snake root. You see, Mrs., that's why they're called useless facts. Tomorrow, I've got to tell you about the first person to be born in Antarctica. Think about it. All right? We'll see you tomorrow. Enjoy Sunday. Have a wonderful Sunday. I hope the weekend is going really well for you and continues to do so. And I'll see you tomorrow for Bank Holiday Monday's edition of GSFM. From me, Jerry Sweeney, thank you for listening. I hope you've enjoyed today's edition. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye now.